This is a response to Apple Soldier. He put up a video recently, um, actually earlier today, about his technology resolution, he wanted to redo his office, and etc. And he basically said that he wants us to take a moment and think about Apple and how they have innovated this past decade. And I got to thinking and I thought, you know what? They have innovated. And how have they innovated in a space where I'm familiar with? Because what I'm familiar with is technology that helps people who have disabilities. And I sat back for a moment and thought about it. They've innovated in the fact that they've managed to create a totally usable screen reader for the computer that is free. And not only have they done that, because they're not the first, I don't know if they're the first to do that, I don't know when NVDA came out for Windows, but they're not the, only the first to do that, but they're also the first to literally build it into the operating system in such a way that, um, that, you know, all you do is press a key command. Now, if you have JAWS or you have NVDA, and you have it on a pen drive, or actually, and you, or you're used to, I'm sorry, let me, let me start over, I'm kind of thinking as I speak here. If you have NVDA or you have JAWS, you need to understand that not every computer comes with these programs because they have to be installed. They are third-party uh, programs. Narrator is a screen access program for Windows, but when compared to VoiceOver, there's no comparison, quite literally. Um, narrator is garbage, and VoiceOver, while I will not say it's cream of the crop, compared to Narrator, it's certainly a heck of a lot better. Now, let me explain. Um, for people who have to rely on this kind of technology, NVDA is recent. JAWS and Window Eyes, which are other screen access programs, and if you do a Google search for job access with speech or JAWS screen reader, um, I'm sorry, I said Google, I meant Wikipedia. If you go to Wikipedia, type that in, you'll be able to get all the information on it. But in a nutshell, it's a screen access program that takes the material on screen and, and speaks it out loud to somebody who cannot see it. That's basically, it's called a screen reader. And traditionally, when you have to rely on this kind of technology, NVDA is your only open source option. And unfortunately, there are several applications that NVDA does not work well with. Most notably, Skype. Um, as I understand from my girlfriend, she said that NVDA and Skype do not get along well. Skype for us is really cool because it's a free way to make audio and video calls online. Of course, when you're when you're blind, you can't see it, but you know, audio calls, very, very nice. Because for us, money is very, very tight. So any way we can, you know, have communication with others without having to pay an awful lot is a necessity. Unfortunately, NVDA does not get along well with Skype. VoiceOver does, and again, VoiceOver, they've innovated, um, Apple's innovated in a way that I've never seen before. Again, they've built it into the operating system in such a way where you walk up to a Mac, you hit a command stroke, which is uh, function command F5 if you have a laptop style keyboard, or if you have the full size keyboard with the dedicated number pad, um, and the upside down T for the arrow sitting by itself, you, um, you can just hit um, command F5 and that'll turn on the screen reader. No other company has done that. And they've even innovated in the portable space in this respect. They have managed to build VoiceOver into the iPhone. Again, nobody's ever done this. And in the case of Windows Mobile, there is very elementary screen access software built into Windows already. Well, I shouldn't say built in. It's preloaded. Um, because when I say that Apple's built it into the operating system, I mean that quite literally. They've done it in such a way that it's impossible to crash VoiceOver. Um... At least that's their claim. And um, But they've also done it in the mobile space. The iPod Touch. Not this particular version, but the newer one, the, three, the uh, third generation. If you get a 32 or 64 gigabyte model, you go into settings under, under general, 
and you go into a, C a field called accessibility, you turn on the voiceover switch, that is a screen reader for the iPhone. Windows Mobile does not have any access software whatsoever built into it. It has to be preloaded. And let's look at it this way. Let's say you want to get yourself a pretty nice phone. It's going to set you back a fair few hundred. Well, the screen reader on top of that is going to cost you another couple hundred. And this is assuming you're not with AT&T because AT&T has a major discount going on where you can get the software for 90 bucks, which is pretty sweet considering the software on a portable device can cost $300. This type of software for a full-blown computer can cost anywhere from $800 to $1,200. Okay, so it's expensive. So... The beautiful part is that if you're willing to go with a pretty simple system, you can get the Mac Mini, a keyboard, and a mouse for about 800 bucks. You can share it with your family, and you, as the screen reader user, don't have to install anything. During setup, you don't even have to worry about sighted assistance. With sighted assistance, with uh, Windows, you do have to have sighted assistance, unfortunately. Um, I think this is changing in Windows 7. I think Narrator you can have the ability to activate narrator during setup though I'm not 100% sure on that um, but with voiceover and and if they and if you can they've taken it from Apple's book because Apple are the first to do this with Windows you have to have sighted assistance to set up your computer and it can be a bit of a drag my girlfriend set up a computer for her neighbors recently it took her a long time because she not unlike me is a bit of a, um, a techie but she had to have her neighbors read the screens to her because the, this was what Windows um, Windows 7, I think it was either 7 Starter or XP, and there was no access technology in there. There was no vocal output for her. VoiceOver changed all that. They changed all that. They've innovated in the adaptive technology space, and they did a um, review on the iPhone on the AFB Access World a magazine recently they literally called the voiceover screen reader a revolution we've been trying to make touch screens accessible in a usable form for some time now mobile speak has done it but unfortunately with this new breed of windows mobile phones it's not going to work quite like that apple has set a standard for these types of devices touch screens as much as i may dislike them are becoming the future why? Because everybody's trying to catch up to Apple. And I think they can catch up in building screen readers. Microsoft can build, uh, they could improve Narrator, build it into Windows Mobile, and make it similar to VoiceOver. Maybe not the exact same because you have copyright infringement to deal with, but, you know, similar. Apple has set the bar here. They have innovated in this space. Excuse me. When VoiceOver first became available, nobody else was doing this in terms of a computer you could just walk right up to, hit it, a single keystroke, and it starts talking. Okay, Nobody's ever done this, so kudos to Apple for doing this. Now, is it the best solution? And that varies. It varies in the desktop space, and it varies in the mobile space. You'll have people that argue that fact. But there's no arguing the fact that nobody before Apple started to do this has built in a screen reader to their operating system and made it usable. Actually, compress up one keystroke and boom. Now, you do have Linux, but Linux is not necessarily uh, touted for the mainstream audience, at least not yet, so I'm trying to leave that out of here, especially since this is Apple we're talking about, Apple Innovations. So, again, you know, no other company's done that. Same with magnification. We've had full screen magnification in our system built in since 2003. We haven't had to pay the $500 they're charging for a screen magnifier. They only recently caught that up to caught up to that in Microsoft with Windows 7, and even then you don't have the text smoothing like you do in OS 10 because they don't use the OpenGL standard. But um, but I digress. That's for a different video. Anyway, that's how I feel Apple's innovated in the last decade. Comments and questions are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.